defensively, and and that's been a big key why they've been able to maintain their stop, spot atop the top of the conference. The Saints goaltenders have been so good in the month of March in eight games, a 932 save percentage. Saints can't win the draw in the offensive zone, but they do rip back free in center. Hendrickson left to right on the far wall. Tries to crash into the zone. He can't hold on to it, though. It's Bednarik right to left. Two on one with Iserman. He feeds Iserman. It hopped over his stick. And Iserman is not the one you want to see for the Saints headed in on an odd man rush. But he couldn't control that pass. Saints move back ahead. Hendrickson rips it free. Drops back toward Pekar Cheek. It was out of his reach. And USA will bank to center. Uh, that's been the case there. That was, you know, that's a great breakaway opportunity for Hagens. And he's one of their top scorers. He's not going to miss. 18s right back into the Saints end of the left. And four minutes in, it's a 2-0 USA lead. Iserman in back, feeds in front, tipped away by Sandriel, and he'll move ahead. And Kurt McDonald can't really be too upset with the way the team has played so far. It's just they've given up two chances, and they've both gone in. Puck in the offensive end for the Saints. Reader will move it to the right wing boards. It's picked up there by USA, and Whipple will start ahead. Chipped along in. To the Saints end to the left, and Dubuque goes back for it. Skahan on the first goal from Rio Mullen, and the second one is Hagens from Stiga. It's 2 0. USA on top early in this one, just about five in. Saints move back in. Noah Powell swinging across the base, shin pad, bounces to the corner, buys it in there, leaves for Cornforth, who works low to high, and has Paulson at the point. Quick shot blocked by Larilla, and he'll leave it in back. 12.20 to go in the opening frame. A long stretch pass. Hagen's back into the Saints end with space. The shot gloved by Raidler. That's a big one for Kevin Raidler against James Hagen's. And he could in transition, but they don't have near the speed that Team USA has. Hagen's already with one tonight. He has 12 now this season. He has points in 20 of the 23 USHL games he's played in. Face off, Saints end to the left. Dubuque wins, and Hendrickson will start up the right side, flipping in up the right wing into the offensive zone. Rio Mullen in back. He'll leave it up the wall. Humphreys on the far boards, stripped by the Saints, who wrap it back across. Paulson will chase on the right wing. Has it on the half wall and feeds to the corner. Pekar Cheek trying to dance out of some contact. He gets to the point. Dick across ice for St. Louis. Holds on left point. Lofts it toward the front. It's loose and the slot bounces free out in front again. Pekar Cheek didn't rip it. It's bouncing free again. Pekar Cheek the shot and it's saved by Kemp to the corner. Saints pick back up. Pekar Cheek kicks free. Then he's stripped from Bednarik and he'll move to center. 11 and a half to play in the first. Saints stop it at their own line. It trickles in deep. St. Louis leaves. It bounces off a skate in front. Paulson finds and will move it to the wall for Hendrickson to take the center. Saints had some chances there. Couldn't quite capitalize. In this first period, it's 2-0 USA. Saints into the zone. Cornforth hit again. He lost it. Iserman right to left. Drops back Bednarik. Right wing feed back in front. Tipped wide. Iserman crashes into Raylor. That's going to be a penalty on USA. The Saints are going to get a power play. St. Louis crashing ahead into the offensive zone. Holds up. And he's checked and lost the puck. So the Saints are going to head to the power play for the first time. 7-21 left in the first. 2 nothing USA. Iserman headed off to the box. And the best power play in the USHL will take the ice. Iserman going for charging against Kevin Raidler and the Saints power play at 33%. It was seven for 15 last week. They had multiple goals in all three games and it was this unit that really led the way. Lucas St. Louis had four of those seven goals. Saints needing one here on the high slot. A lead to the point. King tried to work free. Iserman takes it away. Right to left. Iserman flips in deep behind the Saints net. Malbuff back for it, bouncing around on him. He moves to the corner, and King there. His outlet tipped by the U18s, and it goes all the way down. 23 to 9 the shots in favor of the Saints. 2 0 USA with 2.08 to go in the first. USA right to left at the red line. Pass intercepted at the Saints blue line by Calum Dick, but he turns it over. Bednarik out in front. Iserman fans on the shot. Saints flip forward, not out. Kept in, right circle. Iserman turns, fires. Saved by Raidler with a mask, and it goes in behind the net. Raidler, that's the second save he's made with his cage so far in the period, and the puck pops the center ice. 140 to go in the first. It is two to nothing, USA. Goals by Skahan and Higgins in this high-flying first period. 
33 shots combined, 23 of them for the Saints, and it's 2-0. USA, Saints tip from center, but not from the red line. So it goes for icing against Dubuque with 123 left in this first period. Two nothing, you help throw that fourth line out there after a goal, either for or against, just because they always bring so much energy and they control, they control the play so well. And uh, you know, you, it's so by two, first of two this weekend against the U18s. They only have tomorrow night and then one more USHL game before they go out to the international play and the U-17s finish off the USHL slate for this development team. Saints move ahead into the offensive zone, go down the wall, but then it's broken up and fired to center into the Saints end. The shot saved by Raidler. It was Iserman streaking in, and the Saints goaltender with a huge stop and a ton of pushing and shoving after the play. That's a big one from Kevin Raidler, stoning Cole Iserman on a breakaway. 4-0-2 into the second. Raidler keeps this. At just a Iserman's a guy who, at, at the end of last year, you know, a lot of people were talking about him being a top top five pick, and even maybe in that conversation for number one overall. But he he hasn't had quite the the uh, second year at, in uh, Plymouth as he did last year. But still, he's a you know one of the top end talents in the USHL, and certainly going to be a, a first round draft pick uh, somewhere probably in the first ten picks. We'll pick up the puck behind the Saints net with nine to go in the second. Saints with two goals in this period, and they trail 3-2. It's Romeo into the offensive zone. His pass in front blocked. It goes up out of play, and we will get that breather here. With a face. Uh, hockey can be a funny game, and uh, it's funny how that happens, but they had some golden opportunities that first period. It did not score you know, a couple chances here, and they, they put them in the back of the net. Well, they're within one, and these teams in their only meeting of the season have, they played a 6-5 game in overtime. It was crazy back in Pittsburgh to start the season. They're in for another good one here in the final half of regulation. 8.45 to play, USA wins the draw out of its own end. They dump in, Saints zone to the right. Dubuque will pick up, right to left. Saints trail 3-2, past the midway point of the second. King launches in toward the net. It was blocked in front and USA ahead, but they turn it over. Romeo on the right circle, offensive end. Far wall, he'll kick it behind the net. Tried to work it in front, hit the back of the cage. He tried to stuff it back along and they battle for it at the side of the USA net. Kemp will reach out with the left hand and the glove and cover it up, taking the whistle. Perfect example tonight, two of them with the Fighting Saints trailing. Saints move back forward in a tie game in the final five and a half of the second. Powell, 36 goals in his last 42 games. Eisen Iserman back ahead, stopped at the Saints line, into the offensive zone, Romeo, cross ice. It was intended for King, tipped away. 5-10 remaining in the second. Saints have tied it up. USA into the zone, Hendrickson and Paulson the assist. Saints pick it back up, five to go in the second. 3-3 the score, right wing, Andrew King forward and it stopped inside the USA line. Humphreys swings to the left wing. Iserman down to the bottom of the circle, fires it back up top. Hensler from the right point, carries down low. Weaves through a couple Saints, his feet up top goes all the way back into the USA end of the line. 45 to go in the period. It's tipped away from Pekar Cheek. Vizenin will blast ahead, and Rio Mullen back forward for USA. Tipped into the Saints end. Vizenin back for it, and will leave it up the wall for King, who goes in behind his own net. And then his cross ice feet out of the reach of a teammate, but won't have enough for icing with 25 to go in the period. Rio Mullen back for it, left to right. His outlet on the tape for Iserman. He bobbles, takes it to the wall. He's hit to the boards, and it's going to be a penalty on the Saints and Vizenin. Vizenin kind of knew it right away. I don't think that was the intent, but Iserman kind of cut and stopped, and Vizenin ended up hitting him in a little bit of an awkward position. 17.1 seconds left in the second. And the Saints are going to have to kill their first penalty of the night there for this power play. Hagen's taking the draw. Iserman waiting at the circle to try and rip a quick shot. 17.1 left in the second period. The first Saints kill of the night, 84.6 overall. That's second in the USHL, 80 or 34.6 on the USA power play in their 23 USHL games. Reeder will take the draw against Higgins. Saints need a win, a chop it forward, and then the pass by Zemer goes out to center. Sandrial racing for it, trying to go across ice. Reeder jumps, tries to go up down. He does pick it up, 
and knuckles it in behind the net. Five seconds to go in the second. USA rushing forward, trying to get one last chance. Higgins into the zone, the shot saved by Raidler, and the whistle blows with 0.1 on the clock, and the official will have the clock run out. So, Raidler makes the stop at the end. Back into games and switch momentum, so can't say enough about the season that Noah's had, and you know, just a remarkable season. The Saints have a minute 43 of penalty kill time to open up this third period as USA wins the draw. Powell has just been unbelievable. He's one away from the Saints single season record in goals. USA into the Saints end, played all the way to center and then stopped with a high stick by Rio Mullen. So the face off. You know, it gets a whistle and you know, otherwise the Fighting Saints could just let it sit there and kill time off. This way at least they they get uh, get a stoppage and, and uh, get to reset a little bit 25 seconds in third period 115 left on the kill for the Saints it's picked up in center by Rio Mullen right to left he'll rip through center into the Saints and USA offside 36 seconds in to the and Colin Frank Saints tie up the draw corn fourth rips it free on the near wall looking up top he'll turn down low and feed it in behind the net Frank and it takes over in the corner then he's smothered and he's dumped in the corner the Saints Move the puck in behind the net with Merrill. He charges up the wall, and then he's checked off the puck. Humphreys will take it to center. Three and a half in to the third. Saints got an early kill, but then they gave one up right away after. They trail 4-3. Left to right, Saints to center. Into the offensive zone, corn fourth near wall, bottom of the ring. Goes in behind the net. Comes out the left wing. Fires. It's off the crossbar. Stays out. Bounces back toward the point. Chip pass Bison in. And then Humphreys will spin it ahead. Heiserman all alone in the Saints end. Tries to go cross ice. It's stopped by the Saints. Corn fourth picks up. Left wing. Into the offensive end. Drops back toward Frank. His long range shot. Stopped up high. Trickles in back. Skayhan picks up. He's checked by the Saints. King works free. A stick. It was Skayhan's flying along in King's midsection. Three lead early in the third over Green Bay. Saints cannot clinch the top seed tonight. It could be in play tomorrow, depending on the, tonight's results. 12-28 to play in the third. Saints can't hold on to the draw. USA into the Saints end. Eisren, one-timer, shrugged away by Raidler. Saints pick it up. Romeo starts forward, and it's stopped in center. Humphreys back ahead. It's off a of skate, picked up by Skayan into the Saints end. High slot, Bednarik shot, block, rebound. Humphreys across ice, and Eisenman on the back door. Couldn't handle the pass. It goes in behind, and St. Louis will flip it ahead for Romeo. Under 12 to play in the third. Saints down 4-3. Merrill chips it in deep. Romeo chases with Whipple. They battle for it in the far corner. Saints offensive end to the right. Saints win the battle. It's Cornford to the point for Scott. He walks across the blue line. Shields the puck down the right wing. Cuts toward the front. Has Romeo on the side of the net. He's spilled. Cornford picks it up. He's spilled, and that's going to be a penalty. Saints move the puck back up top. It's touched by USA. And the Saints will get their fifth power play of the night with 11th tipped all the way down the ice. Icing waved off. 8.50 to go in the third 4-4 the score Powell has his third hat trick of the year his record breaking 38th goal of the season and the Saints are level within or level at 4-4 Powell intercepts at his own blue line rushes ahead into the zone across toward the high slot Juvenville bats it down low Saints twirl it across ice and it's picked back up by Iserman right to left eight and a half to go in the third 4-4 the score puck Turn to the left side and in behind. Iserman will leave it below the goal line. It's turned in front. USA jabbing away in the high slot. Benaric turns, fires, blocked by the Saints. They move forward. Powell tries to dangle to center. He lost it. It stays in the zone, but Sandrell able to poke back to the neutral zone. Humphreys rips back ahead there. Offside called at the line. Eight of the third. Four for Jim for a team that has been in first place for so much of the season. The Saints have shown a knack for resilience this year. They've done it again tonight, coming back from three different deficits, and their big-name players are leading the way in those scenarios. Playing like big-name players, you know, they've had tons of injuries throughout the season. They've only probably played 15 games all year with their full complement of players. So you get used to a little bit of adversity, but they, they come up and they come in the and contribute at, at the right times in clutch moments, and that's uh, that's why they've been in first place all season. It's been huge all year long for the Saints. Noah Powell now, the Saints record with 38 goals. Saints 
and the U18s tied at four with five and a half to play. Saints pick up behind their own net. Bison in, outlets forward. Sandrell into the zone as Noah on his left. Noah will back in toward the goal and feed up top for Bison in down the right wing circle. Chips it on goal, saved by Kemp, rebound. He gloved it out of the air. Made the save with his shoulder, it bounced in the air. Pulling an assist tonight, Iserman held off the board so far. The Saints are gonna have to hold them at bay for at least a minute, five more. 4-4, Saints starting their second kill of the night. They push the puck forward, but not out. Picked up on the wall by Jumanville, and it does squeak the center. Final minute of the third, USA on its second power play. Higgins, right to left, into the Saints end. Right wing, Plant banks it in deep. Jubinville there for the Saints, takes it to the corner, and then fires it up and out all the way down the ice. 45 left in the third. Saints really just trying to get the point as their first goal here, and then worry about overtime afterward. It's a USA power play for the rest of regulation and then part of overtime. Right to left, Rio Mullen chips into the Saints end. Higgins along the line and it's offside against USA. It's in the neutral zone, it's won by USA. And the U18 start up the right side, far wall in deep Saints end. Scott tips up the wall and tries to get past Rio Mullen. He can across side, Zemer curls, drags the shot loose in front. They Saints jab it to the wall and the horn sounds on the third. The Saints get the point. At the end of regulation, and the trick of the year, the Saints on the kill for 55 to start OT. The puck is down on overtime. USA headed left to right in this extra frame. We'll pick it up behind its own net and start forward. Left to the right wing into the Saints end. Zemer holds on toward the top of the zone. He has Humphreys, rather that's Iserman on the top, on the power play. On the far wall, Saints pick it off. Bisonen looks ahead and he chips at the center. 30 seconds into OT, 25 on the kill for the Saints. Iserman back on it, left to right, weaves into the Saints end. To the far point, holds on there at the blue line. Sandrial steps up to him, Iserman on the circle, the snap, glove by Raidler, he holds on. 421 left in OT, 16 to go on the kill. Iserman has stopped, uh, has... Obviously, but you know, he's had some really great day stops that have, have really kept the Fighting Saints in this hockey game. Saints on the kill, four on three. They keep Bison in and Scott out. Paulson replaces Sandrial. It's one by USA. Saints end of the right, far circle. U18's holding on, pass up top. Hensler shot, blocked by Fisher. Scotty knelt down to a knee. Puck back to the point, three seconds on the kill for the Saints. Hensler holding on on the right side. It's Reeder out of the box. Hensler, bottom of the circle, near wing to the right, Saints end. Zemer up top, a minute into overtime. It's 4-4, the Saints. Pick it off in their own zone after USA was in the middle of a change and the Saints get their first possession of overtime. It's four on four for now. Until the next stoppage, it'll go three on three. Eric Paulson moves forward, right wing, into the offensive zone. Holds on, top of the circle. Goes in behind the net. Works up top, banks to the point. St. Louis quickly gathers on a bouncing puck and walks across the blue line. Holds on left side, feeds back to the right circle for Paulson. He takes it up top, then feeds down low. Bottom of the ring, Reeder chips it in back behind the net himself, chasing after it, and he's stripped by Emery. 3.20 left in overtime, 4-4 the score. Puck tipped to center, the Saints pick it up in their own zone, and it is St. Louis back for Kalen Dick. Four on four in overtime right now after the...